you know, I, at times I'll see worship, I'll see worship leaders gather people uh, before the Lord, but they're not gathering them together as a people. Um, it's more like you've got this body that is becoming for the sake of all the individuals and their experience. You got lots of different individual experiences happening there, but there is not a real corporateness about it. Um, I mean, most of our facilities aren't even set up for that. You're looking at the back of another person's head. Um, a, a worship leader is calling for the offering of many bodies as one living sacrifice. And this is not like it's just you and God. I mean, you know, I've heard worship leaders say that. This is just you and the Lord. Block everybody else out. I'm like, I, did, I had that at home. I came here to worship with the people of God. And um, the people of God, think about it like this. They are the instrument. The guitars, the drums, the trumpets, that's the accompaniment. The people are the instrument. And so how do we call that group to be tuned together to declare the praise of God? That all happens in the gathering. That's why it's so important early in worship. And we're going to get to this extensively in a minute, like really practical. It's important to sing a song that everybody knows to start with because there's a sense of hospitality in that. They're invited in, they know the song, and they feel, you, you feel at home when you know the song. So um, we'll, we'll touch more on that here as we move along.